Hi, I'm Kevin, owner of the world's largest Halo collection. For the past 20 years since the release of Halo Combat Evolved, there have been myths and legends surrounding the Halo collecting community of a place so vast, so legendary in Halo collectibles. Since I've been a Halo YouTuber for the past 10 years, I've always dreamed about visiting Kevin Hurd's storage unit. A place that apparently has hundreds of boxes filled with thousands of collectibles. And we're here right now. <laughs> After 10 years, bro, like, I, I can't believe it. We drove three hours to get here in the middle of absolute small town America. And he's been collecting, cultivating this Halo collection for over a decade. A couple of decades, really. Oh, I, I mean, for the time I've been with Kevin, I've been in his house for about a week now. And I've met a couple of his good friends. And they've all warned me about the legend about just how much Halo is here. We brought about 16 boxes with us today and we're gonna offload them into the storage unit, but what else lays inside, only time will tell. I, 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 like I'm genuinely, no, no over exaggeration, I am so excited. I wanted to see this for 10 years. Like I've seen pictures, <laughs> it's been on official Halo videos and vid docs. This is the one, this is the location of the world's largest Halo collection. We're about to break it open. I can't wait any longer, Kevin. Let's get this storage unit open. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Here we go, boys. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So there's, there's, there's no way in. It's just boxes. Like even to get into the back, you have to pull out like a hundred boxes, right? And this is 30 foot deep. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Well guys, um, as you can see behind us, we do have our work cut out for us. We have about 16 boxes in the car. We've got to pull a load of stuff out. We're going to try and document every cool thing that I find. But at the same time, we've got a time crunch here. We've only got a full day and we want to pull some stuff out to sell on Halo Collectors Facebook group. I guess the uh, only thing to do is start a time lapse and get on with the job. This is Steve Downs, the voice of Master Chief, Sierra 117. I have access to the domain. This great journey has begun. We are literally just taking layers out. So we've removed two and we got a third layer. So whew, it goes all the way back. I I don't I don't really have any words for it. Halo 3, Kotobui Kaya, Mega Constructs, Fire Bases. This is um uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is... I don't really have any words. That, that, that It's just stacks and stacks and stacks of Halo. And we are just scratching the very, very surface. There are so many Halo Fest figures here. Holy cow. Kevin, I found the jackpot here, buddy. All right, I wouldn't mind rocking up with that. Six rows deep, and we're just, we're nowhere near. Apparently, Kevin wants to get to the end of this, so, uh... Let's do this. Also, shout out to the SS Motion. Yeah, boy. Dark Horse statue. Amazon exclusive because it has the alternate head. So Kevin is legitimately driving off to find me a dust mask from a pharmacy because I didn't think it was that bad at first. I was warned that the dust is quite intense. Now I've been breathing it in for a good few hours. It's starting to wear on me a bit. Uh, I don't even know why I'm vlogging in this. If, I mean, I just wanted to show you. It's just so cool, man. Like, look at this. It's just, it's just outrageous. It's just outrageous. How often in a Halo video can you get your boy? So underneath this guy is the smaller version of the Halo 2 statue, but we're not gonna try and take that off. This thing is just outrageous. Going out with the boys. Gosh, 
It's hard to even think how you could amass a collection of uh, this size and magnitude over the years. But Kevin has big plans. He wants to make a Halo museum in the future. He wants to make dioramas the size of which the mankind has never seen. Gosh, I just, I, I think about the hundreds of hours that would go into that. It's pure dedication. Even just look at this. It's just like, this is probably six jazzware mantises. Mantai, mantisai. Gosh, let's check out some rare collectibles while we're waiting for Kevin to come back with my dust mask. <laughs> Mountain Dew Game Fuel, Master Chief himself. But even just loose, look at that. I've never in my life seen these before. I had no idea these existed. Halo 2 Joyride figures. I've never seen them before. They're incredible. Little micro guys. And we've got a lot of them as well. Oh, this might have been for, yeah, this is Combat Evolved. So they did these through Combat Evolved and Halo 2. Team Slayer Spartans and Campaign Spartans. We've got quite a few variants. This one is especially cool. Just four ACs and a Master Chief. Limited edition as well. These are crazy. I've honestly never seen these before. Yeah, we've got a Blood Hunters Falcon there. That's always a fan favorite. And look at that, 100% complete. We've got loads of figures. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, Kevin. This is so, so epic. Now this box right here is what it's all about. Peeking out there, you can see them peeking out. Oh my goodness. Billy the Grunts. Billy the Grunts. Oh my God, there's so many. Unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, there's the, there's at least 20. Marty O'Donnell? Oh! Oh my goodness, my babies. <laughs> Collecting for over 20 years now. I've got so much stuff. You can see the surmounting mountain of halo goodness. It is certainly a mountain. It can be frustrating at times trying to find something. We want to go through and catalog it. Make it so there's a resource where fans can come and, and see what we have and, and what was produced and every little aspect about it. Trying my best to get as much stuff as possible and and just cataloging it. Yeah. If there's anyone that's up for the job, it's Kevin Hurt. I have never seen these before. Mega Blocks standees. Do you know what store for, Kev? I saw them at Fred Meyer's. Fre uh... They were at Fred Meyer's? Yeah. Whoa. That's so awesome, dude. One of the guys was selling a whole bunch of them. That's incredible. Back inside the unit here, folks. We got a box I'm about to crack open. Look at that. Oh. This is one of my all-time favorite MCX collectibles. The anniversary UNSC True Pack. It's just, it's simply gorgeous. I don't know what's inside, so I'm just gonna pop the lid. That'll do. <laughs> uh, remember when the sets came with Halo 5 Rec Packs? Silent remember. Fate on Gunship, a Scorpion, and that Noble Six Gun Goose. This video will just include a lot of me just saying, oh my goodness, oh my gosh, because like, what, how else are you meant to explain the insane scale of this? This is what the domain's all about, Bodies. Oh, that is mint condition. That is just mint. Oh my goodness. The 2009 convention exclusive active camo flame marine warthog. Number 388 out of 500. Kevin, these are mint. I've not even seen one that mint in a store. Ah, that takes me back. The original battle unit. This is what it's all about. How many more are there? <laughs> oh man. What's going on? What's going on, dude? Oh, the next layer. These are sealed, man. It's like this kind of collection shouldn't exist. I don't even know. How many layers are we going back, Kev? Go to the back. We're going to the back? Oh, God. Kevin's got a successful find. Why is that, Kev? Someone was looking for one of these. I'm going to complete another collector's collection by letting one go. San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Only offered uh, in a bundle and none of the single ones made it to the actual convention. They never made it to SDCC. I was able to talk them out of a few. It's upwards of three, 400. Wait, these are, oh, oh. Wait, you're saying these are about $400 a piece? I'm a McFarlane guy. But I'm not a Halo 5 Guardians McFarlane guy. They lost the articulation completely for those. However, there are some real gems in here, like a sealed Jewelum Dharma, and a Fred, well actually there's quite a few Freds. Target exclusive. Ooh, it's a very large card, this one. Oh, you bought this for $5? That's gorgeous. Oh man. Bought for only $10.99, but worth so much more now. Target exclusive. Whoa. Master Chief and Brute Chief. The team up that we always wanted to happen. Gosh, I would buy that in a heartbeat if that came out today. Jerome and the Chief, and of course, 
in Kevin Hood fashion, we have two. Folks, we're about seven deep into the storage unit now, and uh, the air's getting a little thin. I mean, it, it quite literally is. There is dust everywhere, but I mean, what can you expect from a storage unit by a highway? We're gonna keep on digging. Kevin says we don't have to go to the back, but I'm here to see the back of the unit. I Like, what, what else am I gonna do? I gotta see the whole thing. And also, this is... <coughs> This is one of two, <laughs> so I don't even know what's in the second one. I'm do a good workout. Look at this, it's ridiculous. A lot of fancy dress costumes. Is this signed by someone? Kevin, how do you just have this in one of the random boxes? Like, this would be the prize of someone's collection. Wow. Well, it ain't no surprise that this is hard work. <laughs> We've already taken out this many boxes. Quite an absurd amount. It's not even one full row. It's just the scale of this is, is quite extraordinary. Yeah, I mean, just coming back through this is, it just feels like a labyrinth. I mean, well, it's not really a labyrinth if it's one straight line. You're not even through one row. I know, not even through one row. No, I, I try to prepare myself, like I keep on saying, but I just couldn't really do it. I can't see the back wall, so mm. uh, there's probably like three or four. All right, let's get on with it, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting to see the end of the tunnel. The light at the end. What on earth? One more row. It's so immense. There are things at play here that mere mortals cannot understand. So basically all I'm gonna try and do today is show you a little part of this collection, just a little snippet. But really it's hard to try and put it all into scale, like I'll, I'll do my best. Whoa! The dust is real, but that is a Steel Spartan. A Halo 4 headset. A metal poster. Game of the Year sealed. Halo Combat Evolved. And what on earth? Limited style Halo 4 globe shoes. Jazz intensifies. Halo triple pack. Free download. You guys are welcome. Go get your game of pictures subscription codes. An anniversary hog. Two elephants and a phantom. That's already hundreds and hundreds of dollars. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is so many. Blood pot. A Spartan steel case. This makes me feel like I don't take care of my stuff well enough. Just a load of uh, books. I guess. Oh, look at that. A poster collection with 40 removable posters. Halo 3 Ultimate Companion Guide. Tack decks. Power shifting battle cards. iPad case. Ooh, Halo 5 Guardians art book. A load of calendars. 2009 calendar seal. Is that concept art, Halo Reach? Nice. A Halo 3 60 month wall calendar from 2010. Xbox official game magazines. Halo C and Reach, is that official? This is one of my personal favorite collectibles, this Griff Ball. It was actually made by Rooster Teeth. Kevin used to have a collection of Star Wars that was larger than Halo, but eventually he decided to dedicate himself exclusively to Halo. We're just stepping up the ladder here. What can we identify? Uh, this Cortana. There is like probably as much McFarlane in here as there is Mega Constructs. Like there is so much. Wow, Boom Co. Carbine. Master Chief Deluxe Collectible Mini Bus. Ah, there's so much Halo, but it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's the left, right, up, down. I, I can't even, I'm overstimulated. I can't take it all in. I gotta get out of here. Oh no, I leave and there's even more Halo. Where do I go? Oh, maybe I'll be safe over here. No more Halo. Well, boys, we did get a hefty amount of stuff together to sell. But uh, now we're confronted with just an absurd amount of boxes. And we got to load back up an entire row. And I want to document a lot more stuff that's here. So, I mean, oh, I, f I feel a little like uh, Morty right now. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. All right, at least I got a gas mask now. Gas mask. <laughs> Dust mask. Um... Yeah, we, we got a load of stuff out, we recorded some stuff, we uh, organized some things to sell. The main thing now is to just get all the 50 boxes back in, which, yeah, it's gonna be a big one. I mean, what wonders lie in here? Like, there's some things that Kevin won't even know exist. The mind goes wild. It, it, there's another boom coat in there as well. Gosh, there is just so, hey, hey, yo, no, no, Kevin. Kevin, dude, stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kevin? Kevin? Oh no! Kevin, no please! Oh, oh! There's Simon! Kevin, screw you, man! I know you did that on purpose! I was just trying to get everything back in! Uh, I think I'm gonna be in here a while! Oh, Kevin! Kevin! Simon, where are you? Kevin! Simon, where are you? Kevin! 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 
This isn't cool, man. I don't want to die amongst Halo. I love these. I love these products to death. But I'm not gonna die here. I'm not gonna die amongst Halo. Not today. This is funny. This is a good comedy bit. But I do not want to smash these boxes. <laughs> the only way out is through the boxes. Sweet freedom. You know, one of these days they're gonna top a look at this one. That's that's not good, dude. <laughs> On with, On the, with boxes. the boxes! So, a little update for you. I realize that as I've stacked these, I'm a little too short on some of the stacks. So I gotta build them on, so then I can put one on top of the other and slide it across, if that makes sense. It didn't make sense to me at first, but now it does. Push it all the way across, baby! I bet that made Kevin nervous. 3D Tetris Halo. It is currently 3 p.m. We have been going at this for almost five hours in about 30 minutes time. The unit is more or less loaded back up. I'll be back here again in the future, but this is only just the beginning. I would just, I just wanted to show you guys a little, little taster of the, the madness. <laughs> we did it, boys. We've only gone and done it. After the day we've had, three hour drive each way, this guy still wants to go to Target to search for blind bags. No, dude. What do you have to say for yourself? There might be jazz wares too. I don't care if there's jazz wares. <laughs> I don't have any money for jazz wares. Well, I want to go home, dude. My muscles are fatigued. I've been with you for eight days and it has been a blistering pace the entire time. I haven't rested once. Oh, I put my head on the pillow and I go straight to sleep and I wake up the next day and I wake up with anticipation and then realize I'm still living this nightmare. Hey, you're, you're Oh, a nightmare, huh? <laughs> Mr. Young Buck, I mean, I'm, I got good, like, 20 years on you, and and do I go, oh, my, my We finish for the day, then I sit there editing for hours. I'm editing it every single spare second we have, dude. At your age, I was hitting every store in every town. And now look at you, you've got <laughs> two storage units. No, I'm going home. <laughs> I'm flying back to England today. He doesn't know where he's going because he doesn't know the directions. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Well, Kevin, that was uh, that was truly a day that existed. That was something else. There's still a target on the way. I don't, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> I don't like you anymore. Our relationship is over. The term "world's largest collection" makes it sound like it's a competition that could swing about. That collection is tenfold what anyone else has, dude. Just a bag of over a hundred of these bad boys. That's just the life of Halo Collector. Signing off, signing off. Ooh.